Hello and welcome back to the TC Show. I'm Tom Cristiano. Well, tonight it's a real pleasure for me because we have one of my favorite shows, which is an animal companion special. And this is the second one we're doing and we have six wonderful human beings, four dogs, four dogs and one cat tonight, right? I think that's what we have today. And uh, with me tonight, we have Vivian Merrill. How are you, Vivian? Very well, thank you. Thanks for being on the show. It's your second time yes. on the show. And you are the president of the Chumps Dog Association, right? Yes. And later on in the show, we'll talk all about the new Chumps or Dog Park, yes. which you've been working so industriously and hard. Me and a whole that. bunch of people. And a whole <laughs> bunch of people. Yeah, we'll talk about the brick sales and mm -hmm. everything about the dog park. And you have Phoenix with you today, right? Yep. Phoenix is a Siberian Husky. We've had him about three years. Three years, yeah. Could you? He's not. He's out of the view right now. But could you get him in a little bit? There's Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Phoenix. <laughs> so you've had him about three years. Did you adopt yeah. him from the Low Humane Society? We did. Was he was seven months old when we adopted seven him. Seven months old. Wow. Yeah. Three years ago, can. kind of. Yeah. And he's a Siberian Husky. Mm -hmm. Nice. So he's. He's a lot bigger than bigger. Yukon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's very energetic, too. Look, he's sniffing Charlie over here. <laughs> so uh, we'll talk all about the park. And you, so thanks mm -hmm. for being here, Vivian. Thank you for having me. And we have uh, Lori Myers with us again for the sixth time on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks mm -hmm. for being here, Lori. Thank you for having us. And Lori is the founder of the Community Voices Organization. Right. So it's a, a nonprofit victim advocacy organization. Nice. So in, in 2011, uh, we applied for a service trained facility dog to assist us with victims as they go through the criminal justice system. So yeah. we yeah. applied for WENA through Canine Companions for Independence um, yeah. and went through the training. And she's been working with us since 2011. Right. Well, well, great. And maybe yeah, later we'll get. Could you see Wena there? Oh, yeah, I think that's it. She's yeah, black. She's she, black, yeah, she's pretty black, so she kind of blends in with the floor. Dog. This Good is girl. the <laughs> third time Wen has been on the show yeah. with Lori. And she's been wonderfully behaved every time. Yeah, and she's a good girl. And she's a wonderful service dog. How old is Wena now? So Wena will be five in November. Five in November. So, wow. Yeah, it goes by really fast. And what so, kind of dog is she? So she's a black lab black golden lab. cross. Golden cross. So nice. Canine Companions uses all labs. So they use yellows, uh, blacks, and golden. So she's nice. a cross. Nice. Yep. She's and a very. How long have you had her? Did you say? So uh, we graduated um, from training in November of 2011. So almost three years right. and a couple of months. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, and she's made quite a difference. So I've worked with victims for over 20 years and the wow. difference she's made um, since she's been with us. Really? Oh, remarkable. we'll hear all about that later. Right. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. And for the first time in the show, and I'm so glad he's with us, we have the Eric Merrill, Down. the Animal Control Officer of Chelmsford. Correct. So thanks for being here, oh, Eric. Thank you for inviting me. You, you've been on some other local talk shows, yes, right, or whatever, a many times? We've talked about everything from wild animals to domestic animals and Nice. The uh, laws that apply to them and such. So, how long have you been the animal control officer? Uh, I'm on my ninth year. I'll be starting my tenth year soon. Wow, nice. Well, congratulations, especially oh, e you. reaching the ten-year milestone. Yeah, would be nice. Oh, absolutely. And if anybody's wondering, that's a Vivian, your husband and wife, Vivian Merrill and Eric Merrill, a <laughs> husband and wife. Absolutely. So they're sitting right next to each other, which is a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you told us. To yeah, say. I did. <laughs> I did. I, I no, did. I was the one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, right? <laughs> so uh, we'll hear all about the Animal Control mm -hmm. Office and the hours you're open and what the functions are in the show. Thanks, Thanks oh, Eric. My pleasure. And for the first time on the show, we have Annette Famolari, right? Mm -hmm. um, thanks for being here, Annette, with Simon. Thank you for having me. Simon, I met Annette with the Bill Ricca Cat Care Coalition mm -hmm. functions at the Agway mm -hmm. when we had adoptions there. Mm -hmm. I say we because I'm kind of active with the Bill Ricca Cat Care Coalition as well. And I often go when they're at Agway and Chelmsford. Mm -hmm. So Simon was there maybe once or twice or whatever. But um, so how long have you had Simon and that? Um, he's about a year and a half, and I've had him since he's been two months. Since two months. Yes. And he's he's adoptable. He's right? adoptable. He just had some. Um, he was born with some eye issues. Yeah. So I've had to keep him a little bit longer than you would normally keep him as a foster yes. to make sure that he was um, all set to be yeah. adopted. Well, we'll hear all about mm -hmm. him later in the show and about the, the Ricka Cat Care Coalition, which is a wonderful organization, I think. Thank you. In fact, they're all great organizations. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Annette. Thank you. And we have for the second time Mary McConnell and Charlie are with us. Charlie's here. Boston, he's Boston Terrier? He is, yeah. Do you see Charlie over here? What a nice dog. <laughs> Charlie um, 
had lost his eyes too, or something like that. He or? did. He's had um, a life lifelong issues of um, eye issues. He's had cataracts. He then put had lenses put in, um, and eventually um, there was just there were so many problems that he was very very painful. Oh. So we had to have both of his eyes taken out. Oh, um, which wasn't real difficult because he'd been partially blind. Oh, Most since he's been, anyway, wow. so. But he's about 10 years old now, right? He is, so he, he's, 11, he's been yes. living a long time he has. without really seeing. Now, does he see anything? Or nothing, because he absolutely has no eye. They oh, were actually I taken see. out. Oh. So. But he's doing great, though, right? That's why. Very I was, good. And he was such a good dog when I saw him at different functions in Chelmsford. Mm -hmm. That's when I got the idea, I think, the first time to have an animal companion mm -hmm. show when I met Charlie. Yes. <laughs> and then before I knew it, there were all kinds of people with animals and organizations. <laughs> so, well, we'll talk all about Charlie and where he's been going lately. And and the you're with the Chumpster Dog Association as well. Yes, With I am. Vivian. And, uh, yeah, and I saw you at the farm fair on Saturday at the Bear mm -hmm. Byam Homestead, yes. which was great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Vivian was there and you were there. And Char th was Charlie there? Charlie wasn't there oh, that wasn't day, there. no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> But did you have any dogs at the at that booth? Mm -hmm. that no, no, this no. Year. no. Yeah. Just you were selling bricks, right, or yes. something? Yeah. We had bricks, t-shirts, and we did our plinko game. Oh, nice, nice. We raised nice. another fifty dollars for the for the park and stuff. So. Nice. Oh well, uh, thanks for being here again, Thank you Mary. for having me. And for the third time on the show, we have Crystal Galloway Arnett. How are you, Crystal? I'm great. Thanks for having me again. Thanks, thanks for being here. And I think each time you brought a different. Am First you brought well, a guinea pig, mm -hmm. then a cat, which was adopted right away yes. after you won the show. <laughs> and this time you have a beautiful chihuahua, right, yep. Annie? Yep, this is Annie. She's three months old. She's looking for a home. Three months old. Do you see <laughs> Annie over there? I don't know if you can get a shot <laughs> of that. She's so tiny. Of, uh, not that, of, of her. <laughs> she's so beautiful. She's got a little ribbon. Oh, you can see her now. Isn't she cute? Has. <laughs> so she's three months old. She was fostered through the Humane Society for the few months. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the original dog was brought in. Right. right. Yep. Her mom pregnant. came in pregnant, and we put her into a foster home where she could have her puppies and then raise them. And the family that fostered, all of our foster families are great. Um, they did a really good job socializing and training. And other than walking on leash, she's really good. She still needs a little practice walking on leash. Yeah, she's a little but stubborn. She isn't a house trained yet, is she? Not completely, but no. she's getting close. Oh, good, yeah. good. Well, she's so cute. I think every, <laughs> many people would want to adopt her. She only weighs about four or five pounds or yeah, something. Yeah, she's just say. a little one right now. Right. <laughs> and they're full grown, what, at about a year, to six yeah, months? Yeah, a year to months? two years. Two they years, get I to see. be full grown. And oh. her mom was only about 15 pounds, so we oh. think she'll probably be the same. Nice, nice. And how long have you been at, with the Humane Society, Crystal? I've been at the Humane Society for six years. Six years? Yeah. Well, later on, we'll talk all about what's going over there. Now, I think you have some events coming I up. I do. I have you a have the flyers lines. with you. Mm -hmm. uh, some nice events coming up, and um, I got to hear all about the animals you have there. I'm tempted to adopt the animals. <laughs> As everybody, some people may know, I have three cats at home, and and I really love the cats, and they seem to be so comfortable together. They've all been together at least four years. My tiger, whom I adopted at the Low Humane Society, yeah. is a little kitten. Twelve years ago, on September 9th. Wow. And. Um, She's such a great cat. She's always sitting in my lap, and not always, but in the warmer months especially, of course. Yeah. And every time I start petting her, she purrs, and That's she great. she loves um, cheese and dairy products <laughs> and whatever I've been eating, kind of. <laughs> but now I discovered I bought some turkey bacon at Costco, right? Like four packages of it. Mm. It was so cheap. I thought, I'll try it, but I don't like it, right? Thank God. Guess who loves it? Tiger <laughs> loves it. So every day I take out a strip. And you don't have to cook it or anything. And um, I, I put little pieces on the <laughs> kitchen table, and she goes crazy over it. Too funny. But uh, yeah, so I've adopted, oh, also Clooney, Clooney but we yeah. can talk about intro. He's been great. I've had him for four years now. Excellent. And he has his girlfriend, Cutie, who they're always grooming each other mm -hmm. and sleeping together. So yeah. <laughs> I show that if you're my friends on Facebook or other people, you could look at it. And this week, I. Past week, I posted three different videos of them grooming each other. Aww, but that's it. I won't keep doing it. But <laughs> they were just so cute. It's awful cute. Yeah. yeah. It really is. The pet videos are the most popular. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were grooming each other. And a nice song, Adore You, by uh, Miley Cyrus, was playing in the background. Aww. So nice. anyway, that's it's on YouTube. Relaxing. If anybody wants to see it, you could go to my page, Tom Cristiano, maybe. And see the show, too. I try to get all my shows now for the last couple of years onto YouTube. So. Um, you could find find them all there. Some of our older shows, the Animal Companion shows. I've had artist specials where I had six artists at a time, and many many political shows with a lot of candidates. 
Um, so hopefully you could tune into those, but maybe if we could talk a minute with Vivian Merrill, or a few minutes, and so we'll talk about the dog park if you like, Vivian. And Certainly. You, you sent me a link to the... Um, to the upgraded plan. We the just upgraded got, plan, uh, but I don't know if Pete could zoom into this while you're talking about it. Yeah. And uh, so could you tell us all about the dog park and We've the recently history of um, it? received planning board approval for the plan in your hand. And now we're going to get ready to do, um, prepare some bid documents and uh, get hopefully be under construction this fall so we can nice. plan for a spring opening. When are you going off a bid? Did you, uh, or do you know? We got to finish up the documents and decide what parts of the park the grant can handle. Uh, it's a pretty large private grant for up to $225,000, which we hope will take care of the fencing and the ground cover. Wonderful. Uh, we're doing a brick fundraiser to work on the patio area where um, you can get 4 by 8 or 8 by 8 bricks How engraved. How much are they? Uh, the 4 by 8s are $60. Yeah. The 8 by 8s are 100 yeah. You get up to three lines of text and some clip art. Nice. Uh, there's another option where you can get a little mini brick for yourself. Those are a little bit more. But yeah. all the order forms and everything are on the CDA website. Chelmsford Dog Ch Association, you have a website for yes. it, which is great. Chelmsford Dog Association. And, and they can dot order org. there. So mm -hmm. um, is this, it's not going to be limited to Chelmsford people, or is it? No, no. no. So Any, just anybody's be, uh, people welcome. Can go it's in a public and area. So it'll be fenced, and, but you'll have two or three different areas. I don't know if you could see this, David, mm -hmm. but maybe if you could describe. Uh, certainly. Um, uh, we'll have a one way in, one way out driveway with up yeah. to 24 spaces. That's um, probably over here on the right. Down at the bottom. At the bottom, the okay, the driveway is over um, here Over the by the pump house where the um, DPW is now, there will be an agility, agility area that will be next the to the parking area? lot. Oh, it's okay. uh, the pump house. Oh, the pump house, up, yeah. Up in the corner. Up in the corner, yeah. And then towards the back will be a large dog area. And Where's the back, this side or the other uh, side? Keep going. I'll just say I, I can get up uh. for you. Your large dog area will be there, oh, and okay, your small yeah. dog area is down there. Oh, okay. And <laughs> so large yeah. dog area up here, small dog area down there. Mm -hmm. Nice. In your parking nice. lot. Um, so we will have a whole so bunch thanks, of one-off uh, projects where people can sponsor different parts of the park, like benches or barrels or amenities, um, sheds, gazebos, all manner of stuff. Nice. A lot of plantings will be opportunities will be available. Wonderful. Um, the, uh, the whole list of that is on the website as well. Mm -hmm. And um, on November 6th, we're having a Dining to Donate event over at Applebee's on Drum Hill Road from 4 to 9, where if you come in with the flyer, 15% uh, of your bill will be donated to us in the park. Nice. And is that available on the Trump's Dog Association yes. page? That's yes. in November, did you say? Uh, November 6th. 6th. Nice. So 15% mm -hmm. would go there yep. from Applebee's. And so what kind of ground cover are you going to have on the, where the dogs are going to be playing? All kinds. All um, oh, okay. the, we're, we're thinking right now the agility area will be grassed and loamed. Uh, grass then and we'll loamed. have a mixture of different stones and wood chips and, and stuff for the rest of it, just uh -huh. to add some variety to it. Nice. And over time, I'm sure some grass will grow just out of the wild. And that's okay too, yeah. but uh, yeah. And then um, when the dogs um, do the business there, the, the owners are responsible to pick everything up, right? Yeah. I yes. mean, as much as they can. As absolutely. much as they can. Then you can have little mm -hmm. some receptacles there. Yes, there'll be there'll be um, bag dispensers and trash cans and um, you know signs all over the place and people watching you and shovels and you name it, it'll be there. Wonderful. <laughs> so how many people do you think? might go there per day or uh, what's the maximum Do we're not sure idea? i mean it's a two acre site it can hold a lot of them two acres this yes. is wow that's pretty big yeah it's the biggest one in the area that is fantastic uh, that's going to be richardson road you said right? yeah at the old town uh, uh the town old dpw on, right? facility the DPW, yeah. yeah the buildings will still stay there we're just yeah. doing the flat area across the way near the across sand pit the way? nice mm -hmm. So it's, what kind of fence is going to be surrounding it? It's not chain link. Chain link. It'll be how, six how feet tall. Six feet, great. Mm -hmm. So the dogs can't jump out. Exactly. Or so when they go in, they're the, the fence won't be locked at all, right? Or will it be locked at night or anything? I don't believe yeah, it's going to be locked at all. Okay. I'm not sure yet. I mean, if we have a lot of problems over there, we're going to have to okay, do something. Yeah, yeah. But you'll have your main entrance, yeah. and then you'll have a double gate entry to get into the large and small dog areas. There'll you know, be plenty of emergency access. Um, 
There'll be time out kennels. If you find out that your dog just can't handle it, you can at least get them away while you deal with whatever situation's That's going on. Little, and then you what, can just four leave. by ten can yeah. kennels or something? Right, yeah, nice. like the like ten by ten kennels. That's a good idea, yeah. And um, So this know. is great. How much is, is this going to cost in total? Do you have any idea? <sighs> the last estimates we did to get everything oh. we wanted in there was going to be like 350000 Yeah. So, like I said, we're going to do as much it, as we can grant. with the grant. Is that a state grant? Did you no, say it's a private grant. A private grant? It's through a f private foundation. This is all they do. Do you know, could you say who is the grant? Uh, they've grant asked us, is? they've asked us for as little publicity as possible because they don't have the f staff oh. to handle it. Oh, so I see. So it's they one don't of those programs where they approach you, you yeah. don't approach them. And uh, so that was a grant of what, 200 and something uh, 225,000 wow. for the construction. They gave us 21,000 for the design process. And then there's a third wow. phase that you can do like um, different maintenance things or you know fix things that didn't quite work out right. And they give you like three to five years to get that done. That's fantastic. So wow. yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. And, you know, like I say, we'll augment the rest of it with you know, private sponsorships and, when, and how of that far nature. along are you on hitting that like three hundred fifty thousand or whatever that you need? Uh, um, like I said, the grants two hundred and twenty five. Yeah. Um, CPC yeah. has a lot allocated ten thousand. We were Chums, able to raise oh, that's fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Committee you talked about, yeah, yeah. ten thousand. Uh, Chelmsford for Dog Associations put up fifteen thousand. Fifteen. Um, nice. And then there's there's a number of in kind donations that are lining up and. Oh, nice, nice. So, so you, you'll you'll have enough definitely to go out for construction once oh, yeah. the yeah. the RFP goes out. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll see where well, the numbers land and go from there. Oh, and people who have cats like me, could are we also <laughs> welcome to go over and pet the dogs? I'm not responsible for what happens if you bring your cat in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean without the cat. <laughs> yeah, anybody can go in. Absolutely. Oh, nice. I mean, not that I don't know yeah. if I would or not, but I'm a big dog lover, as you mm -hmm. can tell. I love these dogs. I've had yeah. Airedales and Bazenges and mm. mixed breed dogs. I mean, Eric's talked to people that they don't have a dog, but they love them, and they can just yeah. go in and hang out and watch them or whatever. And Wonderful. Oh. Yeah, anybody can go in. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much, Vivian. Thank wow. you. So, Lori, can we talk a little bit about more about the service dog, Wena, and mm -hmm. Community Voices and how you uh, use her in Community Voices or when people test her? Sure. So, mm -hmm. again, I run a um, nonprofit child protection and victim advocacy organization. So, in 2010, I received an email from the mother of a child abuse victim uh, who, two weeks before trial, uh, was too frightened to testify. So in the email was a link to a program out of Washington State where they use yeah. service trained facility dogs to comfort victims throughout the criminal justice process. Oh. So I'm a dog person and I thought, well, let's see if we can make this work here. So I contacted the Mass Massachusetts trial court, asked them what they thought of the idea. They were in support. So I reached out to their only condition was that the dog had to be a graduate of a service dog organization. So I reached out to Canine Companions for Independence, 14-page um, application. It was like a, adopting a baby. Had to go to New York for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Wow. Um, so about six months later, I was invited to team training where you go to New York, you stay there for two weeks and learn how to handle the dog. Wow. So when it is full service trained, she knows over 40 commands. Um, she can turn wow. lights off and on and open drawers and doors and the whole bit. Wow. Uh, but what makes her really good at her job is her temperament. Yeah. So she's very sweet, yeah. you know, and, and she has made such a difference uh, just with the children that we work with. And you brought her into court a number of times? She, yep, she's allowed in all the um, public areas of the mass trial courts, so yeah. victim witness waiting areas. Uh, she works in groups, um, two groups for at-risk teen, teen girls. Um, who absolutely love her. Uh, we do a lot of community work with different organizations. So she's been she's been amazing. So do I'm you ever watching, bring her to, this <laughs> to classrooms as well? <laughs> yes, we have gone into school. Yeah, um, the kids must love oh, her. Yeah, children, yes, I yes. Say. Oh yes, they they love her. So um, very friendly, you know, very sweet girl. Um, it makes an, a, a difference in you know in so many ways. Yeah, she so, is so sweet. It, yeah, as very I mentioned calm. before, this is her third time on the show. Right. And every time she's been very calm and very gentle. Yep, she's, and she's a wonderful dog. She's she, very laid back, which makes her really good at what she does. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so.
<laughs> and Community Voices, when did you found Community Voices? Back in 2004. So I'm a so former rape crisis counselor. Oh, um, are you? Yeah. And then went on to, you know, realize there was a gap in the system and founded Community Voices to advocate I, for victims. So this is the 10 year anniversary, ten years, right? Yes. And you're still very much associated with it, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Still, you know, running everything every day and working with victims. Wow. And, yeah. Well, so now, we're, unfortunately, in the news is all this football player right. stuff. And there was just something about a child, too. You mentioned a child right, before. Right, child abuse case that they're trying and, to say was and, discipline, which... Yeah, and that... So there's all kinds of abuse in the world and society, but it's terrible. But whatever we can to that's right help those who as suffered. long as we're moving forward, we're doing okay, yes, right? Especially yeah. with child abuse, animal abuse. You know, there have been some domestic violence bills where they're they're protecting animals and restraining orders now, so that the perpetrator can't use the dog or the cat or you know the animal to you know to prevent somebody from leaving. So I mean, so really good things have happened. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Gee. So just. Oh. Keep chugging along. That's yeah. all you can do. <laughs> well, thanks. So. Thanks, Lori. Um, maybe we'll talk to Eric for Great. a few minutes. First time in the show, Eric Merrill. Absolutely. The Chumps yeah. Dog Association. Mm -hmm. uh, not Chumps Dog Association. Well, you're probably a member of that as well. Mm -hmm. But the animal control officer here in Chumpsford. Right. Are you called a director of that? Or what? Do you, just no, animal so control so officer? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's about nine years. You're heading into your 10th year now. Yeah. And so how's it been, Eric? How have you liked it? It's it's great. I like working with animals. Um, you know, I, my career has been based in criminal justice and law enforcement for forever. So, um, but we've always had animals, and when this opportunity came up, oh. it was it was a perfect fit. How did you find the opportunity? Was it advertised? Yeah, it was just time? advertised, yeah. and I had been uh, involved with the Chelsea Police Department prior, so yeah. you know, I knew a lot of the the people there. So. How, how could I ask how you were involved with the police department? I was on the uh, auxiliary police department yeah. for uh, 12 years. Really? Wow, yeah. wow. And did you study criminal yep. justice? Yep. I as went well? to UMass and got my degree in criminal justice. Nice. Um, nice. And went through the police academy and all that stuff. So. Yeah. So now I know on, I see on the selectman meeting sometimes there's these dog hearings or quite which become quite contentious sometimes. Oh, they can be. And uh, you know it's. It's sad sometimes. Sometimes people have to let their dogs go if there's problems with them, et cetera. We don't have any currently ongoing, do we, or, or do we? There's a couple of cases that are still ongoing. Um, they, they, they never really end all the, you know, completely, uh, but most of them are usually resolved pretty quickly. And, it, and it's all uh, the individual's mindset, you know. It, you can fix this. And, I mean, we haven't, uh, we haven't had anything drastic we've had to do. There's yeah. been requirements put upon people yeah. and uh, it's as simple as just following the requirements. Okay. But what was no one, no dog was banished from the town in it's the last couple of years? It's against oh. the law to banish dogs. Uh, they changed the laws in 2012. It was called the Act of 2012 which actually yeah. took place in 2013. Yeah. And the state um, omitted banishing dogs because basically if you banish a dog from Chelmsford right. it's just going to be a problem in right. someone else's yeah, town. Yeah, I, I could understand so that. So they put a, a bunch more requirements uh, and the, the, I guess if you want to say the, the hardest or most severe penalty would be they could order your dog euthanized. Yes. Um, have, we, have we done that no, in the last few No, we years? haven't had to. Wow. We haven't had to. We had one dog that was getting close to when the owner opted to do that yeah. on their own. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but uh, no, we the selectmen have never had to, you know, go that far. Wow. Uh, as of yet, I yeah. mean, there there probably will be cases that it might it, it might come up. Um, it's the worst case that you're going to have to be involved in. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, there's just so many requirements, and there's so many things you can do, and it's just being re a responsible pet owner. Yeah. Um, you can avoid it to begin with. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you don't then there's the whole process and it goes through and you know like you said it, it, it's televised so you see yeah. what it goes through and yeah. it can be painfully simple or just painful. Yes, <laughs> yeah. And dogs in Trumps are supposed to be leashed all yep, when they're outside of the home and that kind of thing? Yep, 24-7 is a leash law except on your own property. It can be on your own property. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a leash. Yeah, but yeah. it can't leave your property. Yes, the only yeah. other place in town that's going to be designated where a dog can run off leash, of course, is the dog park. Which, which would be great, yeah. Right, which took uh, 
actually a bylaw change to make it so they can because conservation see. land, <laughs> sports fields, all the places where a lot of people run their dogs off leash, it's actually against the law. I see. Oh. Um, so, you know, there so is... So they're really not supposed to do no, that? not at all. Oh. And, and the cranberry bog is up... That's not part of our property, right? In well, part of it is part in Chelmsford. Okay, in Chelmsford, there's a leash law. In Carlisle, there's no leash law. I see, so. Yeah, because I, I see at the cranberry bog, sometimes they let the yep. dogs run, which they're usually all nice dogs, right. you know, and everything. Well, we have had incidents everywhere uh, yeah. at the different commu uh, conservation areas, at the different sports fields, the bike path. There's, there's been issues everywhere with yeah. people with their dogs. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that their dogs can be troublesome to them they're not but yeah. we've had people fall off their bikes on the bike path and break their leg really oh. <laughs> um, tripping over a dog or yeah, did the dog, dog go after out. them no oh, a dog shot, shot out. out and you know they just collided and the guy oh. fell hurt you know so oh, yeah. great intentions i mean you know yeah. if you, you got to be really responsible with uh, your yes. animal yeah. so the dog park's going to be a perfect you know environment we started looking at this uh, paul cohen and myself probably about six or seven years ago that, yeah. you know, if we have a parcel of land, there's, uh, there's a need. Yes. Because yeah. you can't use the sports fields where kids, you know, are. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially our sports fields, they're, they're multi-use. They're not just a baseball field. Well, yes. they're a baseball field in the spring and a, a soccer field in the fall. And so they're yeah. constantly used. Yes. So, yeah. um, you know, sometimes, you know, the interaction, you got to be careful. Yes. With, you know, dogs and stuff. And so we... Uh, we see uh, a lot of different aspects. You know, we get 4,000 licensed dogs in town. 4,000 uh, licensed dogs, wow. You know, or just about. There's a little under, about, but yeah. the latest, uh, you know, and I'm sure there's probably uh, a number of unlicensed dogs around there, too. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of dogs in town. Yes. Um, and the license fee, what is it now per year? It's $15 oh. for a spayed or neutered, uh, 20 for a, a, a intact male or female. Yeah. That's not That's bad. from mm -hmm. December 1st. You can get the prior year, you know, the next year, the current year, yeah. starting December 1st till February 28th. On March 1st, it goes up by $5 incrementally till June, where it caps out at either 35 or 40. Yeah. And those so are people it's a late who fee. Late, yeah, right. late to do it. Uh, and unfortunately, in the past couple of years, with the law changes and stuff, the town has gotten very strict with crackdown on licensing. Yeah. Uh, we have approximately 600 court cases in district court for people refusing to license their dog. 600? Uh, 600 cases. Oh, yeah. my God. In Chelmsford alone. That are, right. That That's have been filed. Why would they do that? Why would they? Some people, you know, some people probably honestly forget. Some people okay. just don't care. Um, but these are 600 that don't reply to e further right. requests. Everyone follow gets one request. at least Three yeah. or four notices. Three or four. Well, gee, that's something wrong there. Exactly. And so. it's not that much. At least the initial one's fifteen dollars or twenty dollars. And you can do it by mail. You don't but even have to go into the. You don't have to go into the town hall. Oh my so. god. So yeah, that's uh, you know the crackdown that is common. We've we've yeah. been going to court, um, yeah. and we're there's about a eighty-five to ninety percent success rate. I mean, there's some people that don't even show up for their court date, which ultimately ends in them getting a warrant for their arrest. Wow. Um, wow. But uh, there's been a huge success rate with uh, the court system. Wow. Well, Eric, uh, thank you. But maybe later on we'll talk sure. about you have one adoptable dog there <coughs> at the yep. I don't know. Do you, you adopt them out there? We, at our, we, or do you bring them? Most of the time we deal with Crystal and oh. we, uh, we foster every, or we turn everything over to them, to the experts, and let them uh, find the perfect home for them. Nice. Yeah, they do such a great oh, job. Awesome. Which, mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Eric. We'll be, I'll be back, I okay. think. <laughs> and uh, if we could talk to Annette. For Malari, for mm -hmm. a minute. So, Annette, how long have you been a member of the Berwerka Cat Care Coalition? Um, I've been fostering for about three years. Three years, mm -hmm. well. And how many cats do you have yourself? Five. Nice, nice. So you beat me by two, right? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but a lot of the people in the Berwerka Cat Care Coalition have five cats, seven cats. Yes. Teresa has like 17 or yeah. something. <laughs> she does a wonderful job. Yes. She's the one, if you fill out an application, to adopt, you, you give it to Teresa right. mm -hmm. because they have to evaluate you, make sure you'll be a good owner, yes. a, a responsible pet owner. Mm -hmm. So you have Simon with us today. Could you tell us a little more about Simon? Um, well, I got oh, Simon and his mother. Yeah. Um, I still have his mom. You still have I'm his still mom? I'm still fostering her, too. She's available. So she's available, too? <laughs> yeah. How old is her mom? She's about two and a half. Two and a half. And what color is her uh, mom? She looks just like him. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so he was born with um, <laughs> a couple of eye issues. Oh. Um, his 
eyes never grew. Oh. He had cataracts and he had um, inverted eyelashes. Oh, so I had to wait until he was like six months old to start doing any type of surgeries. Oh. Uh, we fixed the eyelashes and unfortunately we couldn't do the cataract surgery because his, because his eyes are so small, they kind of set back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he was doing okay for a little bit and then um, one of his eyes started really bothering him. So oh. we had to make the decision to remove that eye. So right now he has uh, one eye and it has um, cataracts, but he does see shadows. He runs around the house, he climbs the cat trees, he even caught a fly the other day, which I was really surprised. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's great. And he's playing with your five cats, okay? Yes, and he's, he something. loves when I bring Fosters home. Um, really, he that's fantastic. He follows me into the cat room and um, sits at the cage and can't wait till they're tested so I can let them run around the house. Wow. And we had a litter of kittens and actually my last one just left and he was, great friends with her um, but he used oh. to clean them and play with them oh, wow. and oh. I've just he's very very um, like calm and I've never heard him hiss at another cat That's I've never great. seen him fight with another cat wow. growl anything he That's um, amazing. for all the poking and prodding I've done at his eyes he's never tried to scratch or bite or anything wow, that is he's amazing just, giving he's, he's the best man. cat I have in my house <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not mine. <laughs> yeah. And you now at night or when you're relaxing watching TV, mm -hmm. does he come on your lap or do you, the other cats go on your um, lap? Or? As a matter of fact, last night I was in bed reading and he yeah. came up on the back of the pillow and was leaning against my head. Oh, nice. Um, nice. And he'll come sleep on the bed um, and, you know, walk on top of you and say, yeah. hi, how you doing? Does um, he wake you up like my... Uh, Cutie no. wakes me up at five every morning. <laughs> no, my dog. <laughs> my dog wakes me up. <laughs> your dog? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Does he want to go out? Maybe yes, or yeah. But your cats don't. As uh, not usually. No. Nice. Wow. But I kind of like it that Cutie wakes me up. She's. Mm -hmm. um, I adopted her from the MSPCA for over four years ago. But she was supposedly about six years old when I adopted her, uh -huh. and she was all thin because she just had been operated on and. She had eaten some Christmas decorations, apparently. Oh. So they, her stomach, they had opened it up. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know why she was sick. But then when they found the Christmas decorations, they oh. found out why. Yeah. Oh. But she's been the greatest cat. She's so wonderful, you know, and right. sweet. And they all are. None of them bite me, which is great, mm -hmm. and or scratch. Because I have had cats who will bite and scratch. Yes. Well, you know, yeah. more feral type cats. And mm -hmm. that's a little tough sometimes. Yes. To get yes. scratched. I get feral <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <Or> <laughs> So, um, how old is Simon again? He's about a year and a half. A year and a half, and he's adoptable. Yes. So, if anybody's interested, if for convenience, you could contact me, and mm -hmm. I'll send it to Annette. Mm -hmm. Or Bill Rick at Cat Care Coalition probably has a, do they have a website? Yes, they have a website, and yeah. there's a link there to fill out okay. um, an application. Oh, great. Which will go to Teresa, who yeah. heads up the Fosters. Um, she'll go through it, and then she'll send the information to me, and then I'll get in touch with the person that's interested. Wonderful. Yeah, they have to. They have a stringent uh, requirement yes. to make sure mm -hmm. everybody's going to be a good parent to the yes. cat or dog. We put a lot of time into these guys, so we want to yeah. make sure they mm -hmm. they go to good homes. Yeah. <laughs> and so you've been fostering for about three mm -hmm. years with them. So you take cats or kittens in mm -hmm. for a while. You take care of them, and then you bring them to these adoptable places, yes. like Agway, which are so nice of them. They have these adoption things you, and other places, right? You bring them um, yes, when you have a chance. Yes, Pet Supplies Plus and things like that. Plus. Mm -hmm. So that's so wonderful of you to do that. Is that you. you know, that's great. I enjoy well, it. And my, I have three kids and they enjoy it too. Oh, three children mm -hmm. too? Wow. Yeah. And they all love your cats? Yes, everything. they love fostering and... Um, oh, that's fantastic. Though my little one gets a little upset because he gets attached. Yeah. So he gets yeah. upset when they have to go, but... Oh, I could imagine. I yeah. just explained to him <laughs> we can't bring any more in if we keep yeah. everyone that comes, so... Yes. And he's, yeah. they're getting better at it, but yeah. they enjoy it. Well, hopefully we'll find a nice home for Simon today in this show. Mm -hmm. You could just contact me or the Bill Rickett Cat Care Coalition website mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get more information too about Simon and other cats that are available too. I think we have pictures of them, right, yes. on the website, uh -huh. Bill Rickett Cat Care Coalition. Yes. Uh, so they, they come and go all the time, kittens mm -hmm. and full-grown cats yes. and everything. Thank you. Yes. So yep. thanks, Annette. Thank I'll be, we'll be back later, okay. I think. Thank and, you. <laughs> but maybe if we could talk to... Mary no. McConnell and Charlie for a few don't. minutes. <laughs> this is the second time Charlie's been on the show. You can see what a beautiful dog Charlie is, how well behaved. Uh, he's what, about 10 years old? He's 11, yes. 11. He's 11, yes. 11, and he's lost, he has his eyes have been removed. They have, yes. Uh, pretty much his whole life, did you say? He's had difficulties with his eyes pretty much his whole life, yes. Oh. That's why he was originally um, given up. He was brought to Tufts um, 
and he had to have two uh, cataract surgeries, and the owners oh. didn't have the money to do it, so oh. um, that's when he was adopted by us. So. And did did you have to pay the whole thing, the operation? No, they okay. actually paid a portion of oh, it too. Oh, that's nice. So they yes. paid a portion, but that's the nice original of you, one, right? But then there were the many after. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. So that's so nice of you, Mary. <laughs> and um, so Charlie is a, a visiting dog now, right? In hospitals and things. He is. He works for. It's an organization uh, called Pet Partners, but he was certified through um, Paws for People through Tufts University. Um, oh. So it's governed it's govern under the same as uh, Pet Partners, but Tufts has their own name for it too. So um, yes, Charlie's certified. He's done visits before with people, and um, he just had such a great temperament. He wow. truly just, this is what he loves to do, just sit and be patted, and wow. like, this Isn't is what wonderful? he wants. <laughs> and he, has, he didn't bark once since he'd been here, or none mm -hmm. of their dogs have. No. It's so well behaved. <laughs> he he's is. so well behaved. It's amazing. He really is. He's, he's got such a wonderful. A nice and how does he get around the house? Um, and, or the yard? Or. Well, he knows, um, uh, let's say we have a deck and we have to walk down the stairs, so we'd use uh, step when he's going down and up when he's coming up. He knows left and right. Um, so we can typically, if he's going to walk into something, we can have him wait or go left or right. I think one of the biggest things is not to leave um, chairs out and, and stools and things like that, not to leave you can't leave um, any shoes or anything because he'll trip over stuff. Uh, so yeah. it, we keep the house cleaner, actually because of Charlie. So yes, <laughs> yeah, and then he lets you know when he has to go outside. Oh, he yeah, he about just, what three times a day or what? So well, yeah, about that. Like yeah, that? he's he can hold it for a long time, but he definitely lets us know. He makes a little crying noise and oh, nice. Um, but he does well. He's adapted well. Um, his you know, he has other cats and dogs that he's li he lives with also. And, um, oh, really? How yeah. many dogs and cats do you have if we could? Four could dogs and two cats. Nice. Four <laughs> yeah. dogs and two cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So Charlie's a fr with three other dogs mm -hmm. at home. So he's yes. And they get along okay, all of them? All of them get along wonderfully. Isn't that fantastic? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And there's no allergy problems in your home? Nobody's no. allergic, which no. is nice? Thankfully, yes. <laughs> and when you take the four dogs out, uh, to do their business. Do you do it all at the same time, like dog walkers, or, <laughs> or one at a time? No. Or do you have a run-in back or something? Well, we have a, a, a fenced-in yard, but oh. we do walk them. Um, but Harley, uh, Harley, Charlie also has some heart issues. He's on some heart oh. medications, so he can't really be walked a lot. And then uh, one of our other dogs also has an, a missing eye that had to come out. So. Wow. <laughs> oh. So she can't walk a lot either because she's older. So. Oh. Um, and yes. where did, oh, you got uh, Charlie from Tufts or something. Mm -hmm. yes. Where did you get your other dogs and cats or adopt them? Um, Amelia, our, our newest puppy, was just adopted through the MSPCA in Boston, yeah. and she's a pit bull. And then oh. we have uh, George, who is um, a mixed breed. He was from um, Pet Finder. He was from Tennessee. Yeah. And then I have uh, Jezebel, who's my um, half blind, and she has no ears either. She can't hear. She? She's a cocker spaniel, and she was through a shelter yeah. also. No ears so. either? She didn't have any inner ears. She had no to have ears. them taken out because oh. of, uh, well, she had two brain surgeries. So she can't hear at all? She can't hear at all, right. Hey, Charlie, look at Charlie. Look at <laughs> and, hi, Charlie, don't I taste good? Is that, I had spaghetti for lunch. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and sausage. Oh, you should see how Tiger loved the sausage. Of life. <laughs> I, I let my cats have the run of the house. I can do whatever they want. So they're part of the family. So you know he loves my s homemade sauce and everything. Or she does. Looks like Charlie likes it too. Well, I think I washed my hands since then. But <laughs> but Charlie's washing them now. <laughs> He's so a that's big so kid, wonderful. Sir. So you you were adopting a lot of cats with some problems, like no inner ears and mm -hmm. uh, one without an eye. And yes. How she, about the cats? Oh, I'm sorry. The, no, the cats are all thankfully not all all intact very healthy. At the moment and, or um, yeah, so far. And and what did you adopt your cats? Um, uh, Tufts also. They were found Tufts by so. people who brought oh. them in and and things like that. That they were brought in by people who maybe oh. didn't want them anymore. Or, because one of you works at Tufts, at right? Tufts, yes. Yeah, yes. So you, your partner works mm -hmm. in yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's how you come in contact with all with these beautiful so many Tufts, yes. dogs and cats. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, thanks for being here again, Mary. Thank and you uh, so much. Maybe if we could talk to my friend Crystal Galloway Arnett. I didn't even have to look at my notes now. It's been the third <laughs> time on the show.
<laughs> and uh, if you weren't here at the beginning Sleepy of the show, Crystal has beautiful little Annie today. She's three months old, right? She is, yeah. And so she's adoptable, this little dog. If somebody's interested in Annie, mm -hmm. they could contact or <laughs> visit the Low Humane Society. <laughs> and what are the hours for the Low Humane Society? Uh, we're Crystal? only closed on Mondays. Oh. And we're open every other day, 12 to 4. 12 to 4. And that includes the weekends. We're also open the weekends, 12 to 4. And Thursdays, we're open until 6 p.m., a little bit later. Thursdays till 6, nice. Yeah. We have Annie, and we also have her brother, Stewie, yeah. who is the same age. He's all white with black spots, like a little cow, yes. and one <laughs> blue eye. So they're both looking for homes. Nice. And they've both been fixed or altered to mm -hmm. recently. In fact, Annie was yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah, just yesterday. Stewie will be done next week. Next week, so. yeah. Oh, and um, to adopt them, it would be... How much would that be? Uh, our dog adoption fee for puppies or adult dogs is all the same. It's 250 yeah. and that includes them being spayed or neutered, their vaccinations, and a microchip. Nice, nice. And how about the cats? What is it now for cats? Uh, cats are 125 and it includes uh, all the same. 125 great. Mm -hmm. And But you have a special coming up, right? We do. You do you have the flyer I here? think I dropped it under the oh, chair. Oh, oh. Can anybody read? That's okay. If you can't oh, here, Eric has one. Oh, Eric has it. Great. Well, maybe we could start with the adoption one. So, yeah. Is this the one, yep. right? Uh, I'll hold it up if, while you're talking, maybe if Pete wants to get a shot of sure. it. Sure. So a quick shot anyway. But he could, yeah, he's getting a shot. Every he now and then when we get, you know, a lot of cats in, we do have these adoption specials and we are getting full again. So from, uh, for one week only from September 28th till October 4th, we are having a $20 adoption special. So uh, all cats one year or older will only be $20, but still okay. spayed or neutered, vaccinated, and a microchip. $20, everybody yep. hear that? Thank you, yeah. Pete. Thank and you. And our small animals that same week, like rabbits, guinea pigs, ferrets, will only be $5 for the adoption fee, which $5, normally which it ranges from 20 up to $75, <laughs> depending on the animal. That's so. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> how much were the dogs? I know the cats were dogs, 20. The dog adoption oh. fee is the same. We're not having... Oh. Too okay. many overpopulation problems with the dogs oh, right see. now oh, okay. in our kennels, so we don't uh, we didn't need to do a special to oh. kind of get them moving. <laughs> so maybe if we could let the people know at home what you have in the kennels at the present time, in case they're sure. interested. Like for dogs, what what kind of dogs do you have there, and how many? We have an amazing eight-year-old um, Tring Walker Coonhound named Tacoma. He's an eight-year-old yeah. male. He's wonderful. Yeah. He walks great on leash. He's really great with everyone. He likes other dogs. Yeah. Uh, we also have a four-year-old pit bull named Spartacus, who is adorable. Um, definitely still needs some training. You know, he's a young dog that hasn't gotten a lot of training yet. A so, pit bull, you said? Yep. And how old? He's four, four years old. He's a small dog. He's small? very, very sweet. Very uh, sweet. That's yeah. good. He walks nicely on the leash. Um, so he's a really nice boy. Also loves other dogs. Absolutely yeah. loves other dogs. Um, we have uh, some small dogs. We have a Yorkie, Silky, who a Yorkie, is here. I like, yep, I like all dogs, but Yorkies are nice. Yeah, she's two and a half years old. That's a Lily, who's looking for a home. What um, happened to, how did she end up at the Low Humane Society? Um, Lily was know? surrendered by her owners. Yeah, really? they couldn't couldn't keep her anymore, so oh. they brought her in. But is you she a good a dog? Of, she's oh, housebroken yeah. and everything? Yeah she's, a, yeah, she's a great dog. How much does she weigh, do you yeah. think? about? Uh, probably f between 15 and 20 pounds. Yeah. I see, yeah, she's nice. A small dog. And then we have uh, Bichon, and we have uh, we have a lot a of dogs Bichon, right now. They're small <laughs> yeah. too, right? Yep. Well, a little, they're supposed to be small. She's Misty's a little chubby, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's Are a small dog. They're usually yes. white, aren't they? Yep. So a Bichon, that's nice. You could yeah. go to the look at all these great dogs they have. Yeah, the Chihuahuas right now. and yeah. pit bulls and Yorkshires and yeah. Chihuahuas. Wow. Yeah, visit our website. We have quite a selection. We have there a lot right of now. really great dogs looking Not for homes right now. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll stop in, but I like. I'm trying to resist the temptation. You, well, um, you can always but, visit. <laughs> yeah. And then how about cats? How many cats do you have at the moment? Uh, we're pretty full of cats right now. Okay. So we've got ev you know every age. Every color, every, you know, long hair, short hair, anything you're looking for, we probably have a good match. Um, we don't have a lot of kittens right now, but we, um, we have a, a couple of kittens who came in as feral kittens. They were born outside to feral parents, and so they didn't have a lot of social contact with people yeah. until just recently when they were trapped. 
So they've been in foster homes and received socialization, but they still will need a family who will be very patient with them and understand that it takes time to earn their trust. Yes, uh, eventually yeah. they turn out to be really wonderful members of the family. They yeah. just need a longer transitional period than you know other household cats who are used yeah. to living with people. You know, they jump right into the house and mm. they're you know get along with everybody right away. But the feral kittens sometimes need a longer period to adjust. I see. Uh, but they're and they're beautiful. We have two really what, beautiful. Oh, what color girls. are they? Um, one is a Duluth calico, uh, and the other is an orange tabby. So, oh, or a buff female tabby. or male? Both females. Yep, both they're females. sisters. Oh, nice. And then we have a really beautiful little um, brown and gray tiger in white who is also looking. Her name is Greta. So, nice, Greta, nice. Willow, and Lily, uh, I'm sorry, Ivy, are our feral kittens looking for kittens. Right and then now. you have a number yeah. of full grown cats. Many full grown cats. And do you have other animals, rabbits, we do. gerbils? Rabbits, guinea pigs, guinea ferrets. Pigs, ferrets. We've got a wonderful mouse who is just looking for a family. He's been with us for practically his whole life now. And we also have two birds. Uh, well, we have a love bird and then we have a flock of five finches who really? are looking for families. Wow. So. And how much is it to adopt a love bird or finches? Yeah. Um, the love bird, yeah. I believe, is a $60 adoption fee. Yeah. And the finches, um, you know, we like to adopt them out in groups because they're really social. Yeah. yeah. Um, so depending on how many f of the group you take, yeah. we, you know, we we can be a little flexible on the price for and them. And they're, they're so small too, right? <coughs> they they're are, like yeah. They're small little oh, birds. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. and then you have another, a, a fundraiser coming up <coughs> with the Humane Society at Western Avenue Studios, right? We do. That is going to be a really fun night out. It's a wine and beer tasting event called Come Sip Stay, Be a Hero. And we're inviting everyone to come along, have you know the wine and beer tasting with Tutu Benet, uh, which is the wine cellar right downtown Lowell. They're helping to host it. And uh, yeah. the Onyx Room is a great little space. And it's $25. You'll go home with um, a souvenir glass, a pint glass, with our little logo on it. And um, there'll yeah. be music and fun. There'll be food. Wow. It's going to be a really exciting night. We'll also have a silent auction with some really great items, sports memorabilia and artwork for, uh, up for grabs. So A lot of the artists donated it and things yeah. like that. Wonderful. Yeah, it's going to well, be a, a really great night. October 17th, October 7 p.m. It begins to 9.30 p.m. $25 to buy tickets in advance. Mm -hmm. I guess I can go to the Humane Society and get yeah, them. Yeah, you can Humane come to the Humane Society or go on our website and get our them. Our website, yeah, yeah. lowhumanesociety.org. Correct. And it's $30 at the door if you right. want to wait till then. And is that it? Do we have uh, yeah, something else going on? Oh, the two events up. coming up. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks, Crystal. Yeah, thank maybe, you. Maybe we'll be back and, oh, I'd love to <laughs> adopt uh, Annie. Isn't she beautiful? She's, She's so beautiful. sweet. <laughs> I wonder what my cats would think of that, though, right, <laughs> if I brought a dog home? Because they're so attached to me, too, I mean. She's a good and girl, uh, and, she yeah. and she knows cats, dogs. <laughs> yeah. She grew up in a Did foster home with Annie? all other animals. See, she here, she wants to come. Tom? Yeah, <laughs> she's coming over. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> I don't want to pick her up because, uh, as Krista mentioned, she had just been operated on yesterday and spayed, I guess, so. Yeah. Uh, but she's so gentle, she's not barking at all. She's not shaking like a lot of chihuahuas do. And I like her button ears, which is uh, unusual. Well, Sometimes unusual, one stands up, but this one seems to always flop. Yeah, I've had ear, a couple of Airedales when they have the button ears, you know, like that. Well, thank you, Crystal. Well, maybe we'll thank be you. back later. And so Vivian, what else is happening with you <laughs> that we could talk about? We talked about the dog park coming up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to remain the president, I hope, of the Dog Association next I'm year as well? I'm looking for a replacement. Oh, you are? Yeah, oh. it's time to develop my people. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. How many, speaking of which, how many are members of the Chumsey Dog Association? How many members do you have about? I mean, we've, we haven't really organized to the point where we no, have paying members, but oh. we have people that follow yeah. us through email and Facebook, and okay. I'd say there's over 200 of them. Over 200. Over 200 people that, that get our messages. Oh, yeah, and I'm know. one of them, right? I th yes, I'm pretty you are. sure, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I love animals and dogs, and I want to keep up, and chumps, of course, mm -hmm. want to keep up with what's going on. So I see all the emails and things. Yeah. And I help publicize it too. We have a nice group, if anybody's on Facebook, well, I know Lori and Vivian. It's called Chumps at Reps and Residents, R E P S. It's short for representatives. And right now, there's almost 1,100 Chumpsfordians in the group and so we talk all about events going on in Chelmsford, what's happening, sometimes there's issues that people debate or whatever right there like today we have one about full day kindergarten there's a lot of back and forth on that today. Uh, 
So, and I also have a group called Chumps at Arts. There's about 350 members that, <coughs> that are on that. So you're welcome to join that. You don't have to be an artist. Chumps at Arts on Facebook. So Vivian, you also work for the town, right? Uh, Part-time, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, I uh, do you, our recording secretary work. So we see you at the selectmen's meeting, right? Are you, you still there? You see me at selectmen, you see me at community preservation, sometimes planning board, sometimes zoning board, and the conservation commission. I don't know how you do it, Vivian. Yeah. I don't either. I think <laughs> you have another <laughs> job as well, right? I work for a costly insurance agency up on Central Street in downtown Lowell. That's amazing. Is that full time? That one's my full time oh job. Oh my yeah. God. Eric, you have a, a saint for a wife. But well, we don't fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but that's fantastic. You, you work full time. Then you have the four part time jobs or whatever with the town. <laughs> then you are the president of the Trumps or Dog Association. I'm getting exhausted just <laughs> talking about you it. You know, it's a good thing I'm schizophrenic. But I, I remember. Do all this yeah. <laughs> no, I remember one time you told me we were talking by your house uh, near the bike path. And you said you always like to be on the go, which mm -hmm. is, and you don't sit down much like me and watch TV and things like that, which I love, you know, <laughs> movies, TV, whatever. I have no attention span. Can you tell? Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but anyway, thanks. And, and um, thank you. And mm -hmm. Lori, so what else can we talk about? Community uh, Voices, that's going well and everything? You have any fundraisers well. coming up? Uh, no, we had a fundraiser in April. We won't have another one until the following yeah. April. I'm still trying fact, to get over that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, two of my artworks were so I nicely did. that I yes, donated. And thank you so much. They were beautiful. Oh, my pleasure. Well, yeah, we do, we I'm do so do glad to help work. out. So, but um, so we appreciate the support always. Can I ask? Um, yeah. I, I know there was an issue with Parvo in Lowell. Can we talk about that? Have you heard anything? In She's uh, actually Crystal okay. was yeah. quite involved with it. Um, there was a, a big issue, a lot of dogs getting sick. Um, there has, I just spoke with the animal control officer in Lowell yesterday. There haven't been any reported cases in over two weeks. Okay. So we're very excited about Good. that. And this Saturday we're doing a booster clinic for the dogs who received the vaccine a few weeks ago. What, you know, when, it's, when the outbreak was happening, we had a big clinic to you know, jump on top of it and protect the dogs who weren't sick. Okay. Um, so we have not had any cases recently. We're hoping that it's kind of cleared up, but we still warn people they should definitely vaccinate their pets and, right. you know, protect them from you know, getting the virus. Well, when I heard about it, I called her vet to make sure, you know, that right. she was all up to date on yeah. that. Wow. Luckily, you know, dogs who go in for their, you know, annual vaccines are typically protected from it unless they have some other immune system problem. Right. So, you know, if you go in for your regular vaccines, you're safe. Um, but it can live in the environment for a really long time, so right. it's important to keep up with it. Right. Oh. So. And how many dogs about in low currently have it, or do you know? Um, I believe uh, that there were about 22 dogs about that, 20 that oh. died from oh. it. Oh, um, died. There oh, were is a few, that serious? Yep, there were a few dogs who were able to get treatment um, and recover. I think there was just a handful of dogs that that happened with. It's, and it's expensive to treat, difficult to treat, um, and because a lot of times that you don't realize the symptoms don't really come out until it's really serious, and at that point, it is difficult to treat. Oh, so. gee. So everybody should get their dogs vaccinated, though, every year, right? Vaccinated, talk, you know, speak with your vet about it. There's yes. a lot of options. I know vaccinations with animals and people are a hot topic. So, yeah. you know, if you've had vaccines and you're nervous about it, talk to your vet about getting titers tested. You can do that, you know, just the same to make sure that the vaccine is still, you know, viable in the system as well if you're worried yeah. about over-vaccination. But, you know, have a conversation with your vet about protection, definitely. Thank you. And Eric, could I ask you sure. what are the hours that you you open? It's not not too long each day, right? That uh, the uh, I'm on duty eight to three Monday yeah, through Friday. Eight to three Monday through um, Friday. But anytime there's an incident, you can call the police department at any okay. time. Yeah. So either oh, they'll yeah. have an officer to respond, or I'm on call, so they'll call me out. Yeah. So anytime there's an incident, no matter what it is, you're you, you're welcome to call. There is no real close time. Yeah. Um, like I said, it might not necessarily be me that responds initially, but somebody will always respond. Wow. And the, but the, the dog, um, what we call the it, pound? Dog, dog pound, yeah. 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 <laughs> that term, I think I have a new term. I don't like it much. <laughs> but, but anyway, I think it's open for what, like 1 to 1.30 or something? No, that's the way it or, used to be. Oh, yeah, um, it's not with, anymore? No, okay. it's a, uh, when I took over from the prior officer, we it's a, just call and it's open by appointment. Oh, so that's a good, that's if, a better way, right, yeah. yeah. 
Because so you, you might, uh, one to one third, you might have had something you had to do. or a, Exactly. A, a, no, and generally, what do you do when people call up? They call, like if their animal might have gotten hit by, God forbid, a car or something, you go and check it out or pick up the animal? or. Well, on if it's somebody's dog or something, uh, the first thing we tell them is, you know, get it to the vet. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's your initial, you know, get it. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. So, yeah. But, yeah, we answer calls for everything, wildlife. Uh, domestic animals, you know, anything from, you know, uh, the normal c dog cat issue to the livestock we have in town yeah. uh, to the bear to the, the coyotes yeah. to the foxes. Uh, Speaking of the bear, how is that going? Have we sighted the black he bear? He hasn't been seen for a couple of weeks. Oh. Um, but it, there's the one that's in Dunstable and Tingsboro and West, it's the same one. Their territory can be vast. Yeah. So yeah. when he's not here, that's when he's seen in other places. Yeah. Uh, he, they've been around for going on close to three years now, so it isn't like yeah. he's moving on. Um, I'd love to see him, and I'm not afraid of black bears at all. Yeah. Because uh, they generally don't hurt human beings. Not they, like they, grizzlies. Grizzlies right, are different. Exactly. They're more out west and they're huge. But black bears usually, and you make yourself big if you see them, you, you back up slowly, right? right and Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, they are potentially dangerous and yeah. deadly, uh, just like any wild animal. Yeah. You really yeah. don't approach them, don't, don't approach pet them, them just yeah. leave them alone. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the unprovoked attack is far less likely than any of the other the bears yeah. in, the, uh, in the country. Uh, yeah. But, you know, again, a 300-pound yeah. bear has the strength of six guys, so it doesn't take much yeah. for him to be able to do a, a massive amount of damage, yes. especially if they're startled or, yeah. you know, uh, come upon quickly or yes. cornered. And cornered, we do have yeah. people that, you know, try yeah. to take pictures or try to pet them or feed them. And, oh, my you know, God, we yeah, I wouldn't try to pet them. Stay <laughs> or, away or from them. all of them. Oh, but that's how they come around, because they go to the bird feeders oh, and things, everything. right, or Trash. garbage cans, yeah. This, in town here, being the older farm community, the farms, the orchards, it's like going to McDonald's for him. He's got so <laughs> much food. That's right, yeah. They've got it's going tons to his of McDonald's. food. McDonald's, they're fast food places. Right. They're Parley <laughs> Farmers. Eating the apples out of the <laughs> orchards. A they're, they're Jones happy. Farm. Right, yeah. exactly. So they have uh, a vast amount of food, so they, they really well, don't need nice. to look to go anywhere. Well, I'd love to see them sometime, but you know what I see now, and everybody else does a lot, which we didn't 20 years ago, turkeys every day. Mm -hmm. in and I see like yeah. a dozen a day. When they I were extinct in Massachusetts in 1980. Wow. And That's they amazing. imported them from Pennsylvania and yeah. New York State to the Berkshires to seed, and now they're like pigeons. They're everywhere. Yeah. Well, they don't bother me at all. Some people don't mm -hmm. like them in their yard, but it doesn't bother me. Right. And they um, peck around the grass, and I feed the birds sometimes too, so they get some of the bird feed. This year, the big, the big animal has been foxes. Oh, yeah. And bobcats. We have uh, a yeah, number of dens of bobcats in town, and those are those are something really special to see. They, I love to see. I saw the picture on Facebook of yeah. a local bobcat. So, you think there might be one or oh, more? No, there's more. There's more. Yeah, wow. there's there's uh, a number. They've been coming back slowly. So there's about four den sites around, um, and the babies have been seen all over the That's place fantastic. and stuff. So how big? How big they are can adults? Get, um, they can get up to like thirty. 25 to 30 pounds. Nice. So uh, not huge. No, like, they're not, not like huge. a tiger or something. No. You have God, to no. really go yeah. frightened. But Most people, but when they see the mountain lion, it's it's them. Because they can be, you know, like a small dog. They yeah. can be, you know, and when you're not used to seeing them, it's, it looks really big. Yeah. So. And you, so people have to be careful, especially with small dogs, but with their pets or children outside, right? Well, you always you be always mindful. You always have to do that, um, yeah. You know, we live with a number of different wild animals, the coyotes, the foxes, the bears, the bobcats. We had uh, a small dog attacked by a bird of prey, which is an owl or a hawk, or an, and we have yeah. eagles. So the, right. you just really have to be mindful when you let your animals out to know that there's things out there that could harm it. Yes. So not necessarily they're going to attack it, but, you know, they're out there looking for a food source. Yes. Well, um, I was looking for a source of great conversation about animals today, and I think we achieved that. What do you think? I think we, we had a good show, right? I love all good. of you being here. Thank you, we'll Vivian Merrill, for being here. <laughs> and Eric Merrill, a Thank husband you. and wife. I think this might be the first time on my show I had a husband and wife uh, together on the show. And we didn't fight. And didn't fight <laughs> at all. As long as we've seen each other all day. Yeah. <laughs> And thank you, Mary McConnell thank and you. Charlie. And uh, there's Phoenix there, too. I'd like to thank Phoenix. <laughs> uh, this is Charlie. Um, 
wonderful 10-year-old Boston Terrier. Thank you, Lori Myers thank you. and Wena uh, for being on the show. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much, so Annette cute. and Simon. Thank you. Simon is adoptable there. If you're just tuning in, contact me or the Bill Ricket Cat Care <laughs> Coalition. And thank you, Crystal and Annie. <laughs> Annie's adoptable um, and is available uh, through the Low Humane Society. She probably won't be there long because She's a cutie, and she's just yes. been spayed. She's only three months old. And thank our wonderful camera crew, George and Azora and Larry, and our great, uh, great director, Pete Padula, uh, maybe the future director of Trump to Telemedia. We don't know, but I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. <laughs> and uh, so thank you all for watching. If you have any comments on the show, please send me an email at tchristiano at comcast.net. And to see any of our other animal shows or artist shows, you could just go to YouTube and type in Tom Cristiano and you'll see all of our old shows for the last few years. Thank you very much. Ciao.